Okay, uh, hi everybody. Welcome to part two of Night Clan. <laughs> so, last video, part one, we explored um, some of the history of Night Clan and very few of the cats in Night Clan, such as the uh, leader, the, the high ranks, and then two of the warriors. So now we're gonna do a more. I actually am pretty sure I didn't do half last time. I'm just it was getting long last time, so hopefully this one is as, isn't as long, but we'll see. <laughs> I don't want to speak for too long, so let's just get on to the rest of the warriors. Uh, yes, <laughs> let's go talk about them. So you know in the um, clan generator that everyone was using, for some reason they would always generate black cats. Oh, just plain black cats. And wouldn't you know, there's a black cat. But did you know that this is the only black cat in this clan? Finally, thank the Lord. So this is um, this is Vine Petal. Where I like, I love his name. Very interesting name. And um, he's a very small black tom with flame-colored eyes. Um, he's a, a little bit young, and he um, he's a bit unsure of himself, but. Uh, tries his best. Um, he's a single father um, and he is uh, newly grieving the loss of his mate which um, died of just a simple sickness. She, uh, it's not, not a big story, big plot, you know, it's just a unfortunate event for this poor boy. <laughs> but yeah, there's of the pretty vine petal, the black cat, quote unquote. <laughs> uh, so, up next is the oldest warrior um, currently, who is Daisy Water. And he's described as a mottled copper and white senior tom. Um, so Daisy Water is a very strict uh, and outwardly not very caring cat. He looks very young here. I think I changed that a little bit later on. Yeah, make the eyes smaller. So therefore, oh, and the chin bigger. That's how we make an older character. <laughs> but uh, he's mostly a loner and usually spends his. Um, time training by himself in preparation for any type of conflict that could maybe come um, to uh, that could maybe come my clan's way um, and I'm thinking maybe a way of these cats training they would actually maybe uh, use human items or they would basically uh, let's say they have a stack of metals and they would um, tie a rope around them and uh, that um, in order to grow um, muscle and stuff they would pull that maybe on a little bit of an incline or something maybe that's um, a good way of training uh, the apprentices or maybe just a future or a pastime you know a hobby <laughs> going to the gym the cats that go to the gym <laughs> but yeah that's uh, daisy water And the first apprentice is uh, Mallard Paul, uh, who is Vine Petal's daughter, the black cat from earlier. <laughs> and she's described as a cultish red molly. Um, so she's a very determined and ener energetic cat, and, and she loves the idea of being a strong warrior and can't wait to become the future leader. <laughs> I mean, um, after all, it's clear she's the best option. <laughs> But, um, and uh, Mallard Paul's warrior name will be Mallard Speckle. I really enjoy that the generator adds what their warrior name would be because I'm always, I'm always in, interested to know <laughs> what the generator would generate them as warriors or, or uh, higher ranks. <laughs> but yeah, there is uh, Mallard Paul. I really enjoy her design. I think she's very cute. Love her eyes. <laughs> All right. 
Alright, so the next apprentice is named Windpole, and who is the daughter of Heather Ears and Cranberry Bee. Uh, Heather Ears being the deputy and Cranberry Bee being that cute red one from last time. <laughs> but um, So she was described as a chocolate tabby molly with lemon-shaped emerald eyes. And she was very fun to design, her and the next character that will be coming out, which is her brother. Um, but she was... She, she's probably one of my favorite designs. But anyway, she's kind and shy and is considering uh, becoming a healer under... Uh, what's his name? Bro, I forgot his name. What my Lemon, lemon heart. <laughs> but, um, and her warrior slash healer name will be uh, Wind Lily, and I think that uh, suits her, suits her very much. Uh, beautiful name, I think. <laughs> but yeah, there is the pretty Windpole. <laughs> she was so fun to design. <laughs> Okay, so it started raining. I really hope you can't hear that. Um, it's raining really hard. But anyway, uh, this is Windpole's brother, uh, Spirepole. Uh, so anyway, um, he is described as a light brown tabby tom with pretty hazel eyes. Um, he is a very messy and weird tom who is easily offended, um, and he becomes very frustrated. Um, uh, easily when he's training. Uh, so he looks up to his uncle, uh, Shining Star, and wishes he could be more like him. Uh, he's more uh, on the anxious side, uh, I guess you could say like his father, <laughs> but he wishes he was more like his uncle. Uh, wise, I guess. <laughs> but um, his warrior name will be Spirebur. I really like that name, I think it, will, it uh, suits him, because he's a scruffy boy. He's not very neat. He's, uh, doesn't jumps into things without planning and all that. <laughs> but yeah, there is Spirepaw. Love his name. <laughs> love everyone. I love most most of their names on this. I think it's this generator is very good at naming. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure the rain stopped. <laughs> Thank the Lord. Anyway, next is the nursery. <laughs> And this is uh, Shattered Bark and her kits. So, uh, uh, Shattered Bark was described as a yellow ticked tabby molly with bright orange eyes. Uh, she's a uh, chalk light's mate. Um, so, uh, Shattered Bark was, or is, <laughs> she still is, um, confident um, and she she's the cat all the toms had a crush on at some point and that's basically 90 percent of the whole of night clan because it seems to be a lot of boys but, um she fell in love with chalk light uh, because of his confidence and they kind of became a power couple <laughs> and her t she has uh, two kits um one is marrow kit a brindled lilac tom who, um, he's a very cute, kind, and starry-eyed kid who wants to be a healer one day. And his warrior name, or oh, let's say his healer name, will be uh, Marrow Moon. I think uh, suits him a lot, because he's always um, yeah, starry-eyed, always staring at the stars, at the moon. Poss possibly has a very strong connection with Star Clan. <laughs> and uh, then the other kit, uh, Tangle Kit. Um, who is um, a pinkish orange and white tabby tom with oval shaped copper eyes, a cream colored muzzle, and black socks. Um, I don't know why they gave him a very detailed description. It's nice though, but interesting. <laughs> and that's that's the one that's lying in a very um, shy, shy, or uh, grumpy looking <laughs> pose. Um, he's quiet and angsty. <laughs> Yeah, he's always, uh, I guess you could say, he's always in a bad mood or irritable. Um, oh, there's a lot of irritable cats in this clan. <laughs> I guess it's hard for them to grow up 
I guess they they use a privileged life with with people, with humans. But um, his uh, parents discovered when he started walking that he has a lot of trouble with balance and using his legs. Um, he can walk, but it's just hard for him. Um, it might be because he's young, but it could, um, as uh, Lemonheart uh, said, it could uh, advance into his older, older days, older life. <laughs> And um, he's very embarrassed by it, so he stays in the nursery a lot by himself because um, there's no other there's no other cats to hang out with um, kids to hang out with other than his brother. Uh, um, he's afraid that his name will be Tango Legs, um, which is which is actually going to be his name in the future, unfortunately for him. Um, he doesn't want to accept this excuse that he got his name for the socks that he has, the dark socks that he has. Because um, he can't tell if it's the truth or not, so he is very scared for that, even though that will happen. Um, I'm not sure if he will get um, over that insecurity, and whoever is quite rude for calling him that, but maybe he does have long legs or something in the future, you never know. <laughs> but yeah, there's uh, Shatterbark with Marrow Kit and Tangle Kit. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna move on to the uh, elders now, which uh, I'm pretty sure this is the last uh, uh, rank before we're done. Um, all the elders are gonna be in one image. I think we'll be. Uh, I think it was nice to do that. Um, so the how the hell do I say Asphodel? Asphodel. Okay, so uh, so the first. Uh, cat that uh, what is I'm drawing right now. His name is Woolnose, and he's a speckled black and white tom with a dull pelt and is partially blind and deaf. Uh, the next one is um, Asphodel Hollow, and is a speckled copper tom who is completely blind and deaf. And this one here is Mustard Pelt, who is uh, described as a russet tom with a seemingly permanent frown, um, and he's half blind and deaf. So that's all of them. They're always half blind or it's blind or deaf in some way. <laughs> as for Del Hollow, uh, he is. He doesn't. Uh, um, he doesn't interact with the other cats much anymore in his old age. Only really his daughter uh, Shattered Bark and her kids to an extent. Um, he lost his sight and hearing over time, but it happened very quickly and he never really got used to it, and he hates it. Uh, the other elders try their best to keep him company and he won't admit it, but he really appreciates it. <laughs> so Wool knows, uh, in, he still has some young spirit in him and likes to tease his friends and generally enjoy his time in his retirement. Um, his mate, Frond Chirp, uh, recently died of weakness and old age, but he tries to keep himself in good spirits. Um, so, Mustard Pelt uh, is Lemonheart's father, as you can probably see by the way he looks. And um, he has a soft and sad sounding voice, uh, but despite that, he is actually a very easygoing and kind Tom. He acts as everyone's grandpa and Everyone loves him and can never seem to stay mad at him. <laughs> one of those likable old characters. <laughs> the one that probably was um, really badass in their young age. Or probably badass still. <laughs> and that is Night Clan. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed um, listening about. Um, listening about the characters as much as I enjoyed creating them. So we were introduced to Vine Petal and Daisy Water, the last remaining warriors, and the apprentices Mallardpaw, Windpaw and Spiredpaw, the um, mother uh, Shatteredbark with her kids Marrowkit and Tanglekit, and the elders Asphodel Hollow, Woolnose and Mustard Pelt. This this is this was a very good generator. Um, I loved every single one of these characters <laughs> and making the story. It was definitely 
more my cup of tea than uh, cats live in generically described forest. And um, I enjoyed feeling a sense of character and story from designing these cats, and it flowed so naturally for me. Um, maybe I could even add magic into this world, because medieval is fun, but med medieval fantasy? Oh, it's even better. <laughs> and so, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know if you'd like more of this um, type of thing in the future, or what you'd like. I would love to hear what you guys would like to see from me since I'm very new to this <laughs> still um, but yeah um, again I'll leave the link to the generator that I used in the description uh, just like the last video um, maybe you should try it as well <laughs> and possibly even upload the, the process on YouTube or on DeviantArt or Instagram wherever you may be but yeah I will also link my Instagram and my DeviantArt in the description I will probably be uploading my character designs in the next couple of days. <laughs> and yeah, so with that, uh, I bid you farewell, and until next time!